All right, puppy. I'm trying to make this somewhat official. I'm, I'm going to cut this out and put this on the internet. <laughs> but it's really just going to be me struggling through this. What should we start off, Bobby? Where, which, where should we start on the last-minute Christmas guide? I have, a, I have a whole list of things we're going to go through. Uh, start out at the beginning, I guess. What's, well, or... what's on your – like, what would you want? Like, what, what are some of the things oh, you want? Oh, me, myself, like, as in a dream? Yeah. I mean, my dream Name present. an Apple product that came out this year, please. <laughs> Uh, I like the um, I like the the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro. Yeah, it would be very cool with the pen. I want the pen. All right, so I've been playing with the iPad Pro for a little while. There it is, as you can see. Uh, it's a beautiful device. It's about thirteen inches. What is it? Twelve point nine inches. Starts up at seven ninety nine. Uh, I the thing I love about the iPad is it lets you do this like multitasking thing. We're showing it on the video. We can put windows side by side. It's really cool. You can watch like videos like 18 different ways. It seems awesome. I love. I've been playing with it for about a uh, about a. Well, I played with it for about a month, and I uh, I was very sad to send it back. But uh, I like this a lot because if you pair it with something like a keyboard, it's pretty much better than uh, at least for me. It would be better than a uh, a MacBook. What did you like about the iPad Pro, Bobby, that you saw? I, on it? I, ha- I haven't touched it, but I know that if I got that for Christmas, I would probably, you know, I would probably, you know, get all excited, kind of, you know, you know, pretty much, you know, pretty much orgasm. I essentially did yeah. orgasm every time I played with it. Did you? I kind of like iPad. Shane has an iPad, and I always update it and stuff for him. But um, he, that thing's attached to him. I mean, he loves it. If I got an iPad Pro, I think that um, I would carry it around with me, kind of like uh, you know, like a staff member, and I would act like I had my own platform, you know, and you know, then I could afford my own bass boat. You know, all my dreams would come true, and I could invite you to the river and be happy, and maybe we can spoon on the boat. I uh I just started using my MacBook Air again and I absolutely hate it compared to my my beautiful beautiful iPad Pro. It just fell over. <laughs> so again, starting off at seven ninety nine, the iPad Pro. Are those things a little bit water resistant, just in case you did spill or drop it in the toilet? I would assume it's not whatsoever. Oh see that see that's what I wouldn't like about it. I would want it to, you know, come with me in the pool. You know, they should make them to where they're waterproof, you know, to go about five feet down at least. All right. So that is the iPad Pro available in gold, uh, silver, and space gray. Next, uh, I'll do the MacBook Air. Uh, I love my MacBook Air. I've been using the MacBook Air since 2011. I got my beautiful MacBook Air right here. Mine, unfortunately, is dead from water damage, but I still absolutely love it. It's got an 11.6-inch display. It starts off at... What do they start off at, Bobby? $8.99? I should probably pay attention to this. Do some research for me, Bobby. I think they're like $100 cheaper, aren't they, during this uh, Black Friday thing? You can get refurbished, which I also suggest, too. So this is a good idea, uh, just in principle, to pay attention to things like the Apple Certified Refurbished section. Because what they'll let you do is they'll let you get a uh, a very nice computer that's essentially brand new, at least new to you. And it's not like uh, crappy, like the normal refurbished. It's actually good refurbished. It's, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. How, to how much audience. of a savings is that, though? You can save same. a lot, though. You can save because it starts off at... Um, wait, let me pull it up. I've seen MacBook Airs come down to like, almost 600 bucks. Like you can get a great deal on one. Can I play Counter Strike on that though? What's the what's the video processor on that? It starts off at eight ninety nine. Comes with a hundred twenty gig storage, one point six gigahertz processor. Okay. Uh, you know, just not, nothing crazy CPU wise, but this is a great computer. Uh, my MacBook Air was about I don't know what five years old. It's still great to me. I love it a can, lot. Can that handle Maple Story? I don't know what that is, Bob. What the fuck is Maple oh, Story? Sorry. That's a game that Shane plays. I have no idea what that is. How about Minecraft? Do you comprehend Minecraft? I've uh, I've played Minecraft on it a long time ago, back in 2012. I played 2012 Minecraft. 
But if you're looking for something, uh, so I like the MacBook Air. Love that. Starts off at eight ninety nine. So there's there's my laptops. But hey, Bobby, what if you're uh, what if you're in the Windows Windows was the Windows universe, or even if you just don't want to spend that much money? Uh, another computer that I absolutely love is the HP Stream Eleven, Bobby. The HP Stream Eleven uh, starts off at just one ninety nine, so it's incredibly cheap. Uh, it's beautiful. Same size as the MacBook Air. Uh, incredible battery life. One's Windows 10. It's just, uh, it's just great. You know, for 200 bucks, you can get a full-fledged Windows laptop. Obviously, there's going to be some. Uh, it's it's going to be. A, it's actually. Uh, it's actually a 200 dollars laptop that actually is worth the price. Most 200 to 200 dollars laptops are pieces of shit. And that's, that's not isn't. that's not a Chromebook though, is it? No, it's not. It it well, they they made it and put it out to uh, essentially compete directly with Chromebooks because Chromebooks yep. are about two hundred bucks. But it's just Chromebooks is just a, basically a Chrome uh, browser. Yeah, this thing you comes know, with I believe it's a one point four gigahertz processor, thirty two gigs of yeah. uh, solid state or flash memory. Uh, I think two gigs of RAM. But this thing's really nice. It's a really nice computer. It's not going to be a, you know, a workhorse, but it's going to be a great computer for a kid. What were you saying, Bobby? Uh, I was going to say that those Chromebooks are just flying off the shelf, but mm-hmm. I would rather have a, a regular you know, PC laptop you know, um, you know, with a you know, big hard, you know, 500 gig hard drive or 250. What's the thing the, about the it? You can, you, you know, it has USB ports. It has a bunch of ports. <clears throat> it's got two USB ports. Uh, it's got you know a headphone port, uh, SD card port, uh, HDMI port. So this is great too. Even if you just get it to, uh, I have one uh, tucked in the other room underneath the TV as a conference room TV. So I have it. I have it folded flat on top of the DVD player, hooked up to <clears throat> HDMI, and uh, it's basically a little conference room TV. You know, it's great. It can be it can be your uh, Netflix streamer. So that's one ninety nine. The HP Stream Eleven, and don't forget to use my Amazon affiliate code if you buy this shit. And one thing I want to point out too, both Apple and Google will we'll cover the entire Apple, Google, Android here. Uh, both Apple and Google uh, have extended holiday return policies. So anything you buy before Christmas, Apple, I think you can extend it to, you can return it up to the 8th of January. And Google has it up until I think the 26th. I, can, I have it somewhere in my notes. Hold on, I can tell you. Which is a crazy good deal. So even if you you know even if you just want to try this shit out and then you can just return it. All right, hold on. Let's see. All right, this is so this is on the uh, Google website. Oh wait, that's uh that's something else. I apologize. Let me find it. Here it is. Uh, all purchases made before uh, between the twenty seventh and twenty fifth can still be returned up to the twenty second. This is from the Google store. And uh, what would you buy from the Google Store, Bobby? You ask. Me? Yeah. What would you What would you buy? Uh, from the Google Store. How about a thirty five dollar Chromecast? I love Chromecasts, uh, even more than my Apple TV, which I will recommend. I'm only I only am going to recommend the Apple TV because I feel like people will yell at me if I don't. But I love the Chromecast. It's thirty five dollars. Uh, Essentially, what it is, it's a Netflix streamer. Anything that's on your phone, you can, uh, well, you know, a lot of stuff that's on your phone, you can completely cast over to your uh, your 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 TV. Yeah. I love I love that. The, that's actually the Chromecast too. Yep, that's the brand new Chromecast. I have yeah. the original Chromecast, but they're essentially the same thing, and it lets you watch Netflix, YouTube, Hulu uh, on your big screen TV. And it's just for thirty five bucks. I like this a lot because you can buy. You know, five of them and put them all over your house for the same yeah. price as a. Well, they're, it's Apple a great TV. gift. It's a great gift, too. Yeah, thirty-five bucks. I, so I, this is my favorite category: is the under forty dollars. And we have we have a we have a bunch of stuff. We have under fifty. We have a tablet, a Netflix streamer, a phone. Um, what else? Something else. I forgot. You know what I like we about the Chromecast? What do you like, Bobby? The best. What I like. Do you about have one, is, by the way? Of course, I once I once I tried one, I bought two more. Did you really? So tell me about your experience yeah. with Chromecast, real quick. Uh, what I like about it is um, there's a special app that you can buy. Um, it, it's it's kind of like a you'll see it when you go to the app the the store. It's like a blue um, icon. 
you can't miss it. And I think it costs like seven bucks, but it's well worth it. You can actually turn on your TV if you have your uh, Chromecast plugged into the USB of the TV. Um, and then also your iPhone controls. Um, you can actually stream like movie websites, like streaming movie websites off. Yeah, so what you can also do iPhone. too is if you have a Chrome browser on your TV or on your computer, anything that's on your computer, you can stream over to the yeah. Chrome, which is really nice yeah. too. So if you have like a website, it's great for that. So you can show off websites, you can show, you know, anything that's on a Chrome browser, if you know, you can go onto your Flickr. It's really nice just to experiment and oh, play around with. It's amazing. And also they have another deal. This is what the Chromecast. If you buy the Chromecast before the 31st, you get a free uh, movie rental from Google Play, which I think is about a $5 value. So pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And Google Play has a lot of all the movies and stuff. And this is good, too, if you if for anything you have. Windows, or uh, I should say, Windows you can use on the uh, on the desktop. Uh, Apple and Android. So this is great for everyone. It actually works really good on... Uh, I spent a week using it uh, with just iOS and just Android devices. And there's really no compromises. It's a really nice device. And if you have an Android device, a newer Android device, you can actually Chromecast it. It's basically the Apple TV for Android. So if you have an Android, you can actually cast your entire display, which is pretty interesting. Anything else you want to say about the uh, the Chromecast, Bobby? Uh, the, hands down, the Chromecast is like outrageous. I mean, it's cool. If you don't have one, try it. It's so cheap. You know, at least get one. 35 bucks. It's, I, my, so my deal is to have a Chromecast and an Apple TV on each TV, um, which I really like. Also is uh let's bring up the Apple TV and I'm not rec- okay I'm not a huge fan of the Apple TV surprisingly enough I actually haven't used my Apple TV data uh, on a daily basis for a long time the only reason I'm actually using it now is because I'm heavily into buying movies on iTunes but so I'm still recommending and this thing I still offer is the what is it sixty nine dollars Bobby. Yeah, something like that. I mean, they're starting to get cheap. $69 Apple TV second generation or third generation. Does 1080p, uh, AirPlay, everything. You know, it's not the, it's not the new thick one, which is $150. Um, these are great. It's, it's just nice because, you know, a lot of times, you know, you think, you know, oh, if I get a Chromecast for my kid, they're going to hate me. But at least with this, you can say, hey, it's, it's Apple. 69 bucks. And I got lots of these, too. I love these things. Apple TV. It's Those new- are pretty solid, too, compared to others. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just really cool feature too, where it will let you if you have like a, it will let you uh, learn remote, so you don't have to use the remote that comes with it. You can actually, if you have like you, uh, one of those most TVs have um like a comes with like a like I have one in front of me, like here's my TV for my the TV in here. It has all these like extra buttons that don't do anything for the TV. You know what I'm talking about, Bobby? Yeah. Like every TV has all these extra buttons on them, and what you can do is you can program it uh really easily for, to work with it so that's Sweet. a little extra added bonus of the apple tv do you have apple tvs at all bobby you know what i don't but i you know i'm kind of looking into uh i kind of want more of like the apple like pc little box i see how's our chart room doing bobby i want to make sure we're not ignoring anyone everything's going good going good all right yep all right bobby next Let's go on over to, uh, should we do the Apple Watch? Uh, yeah, yeah, do the Apple Watch. I'd like to see if that, is that coming down in price? So us? the Apple Watch starts off at, uh, and we're recommending the Apple Watch Sport. It starts off at 349 for the small version, uh, five, or uh, 399 for the bigger one. Uh, I have the smaller version. I love the Apple Watch. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's a perfect companion to the iPhone. Um, a good way to ex- compare it to is like an iPad, where if you have an iPad, if you don't have an iPad, you really won't understand this. But uh, when you get an iPad, you're first like, why do I have this thing? And then after you start using it, you just fall in love with it. And I've been using this since, what, March? How long have I been using it, Bobby? Do you have any idea? Gosh, uh, ever since I've known you, I think. A ever since bit you've after- known me. Yeah, ever a little bit after I met you, they came out, and you guys were kind of beta testing them. I got the the beautiful, the pink one or the green one, and uh, comes in all a bunch of different colors. It comes in twelve different models. You can get it. Uh, they have gold, uh, rose gold to match your phones, uh, space gray, and uh, silver. So all the it, same as the iPhones. Has there was there a difference in the updates? Did you get an update on this last Apple update on that or? Oh, uh, it's basically just a uh, like bug fixes and stuff. Okay. 
nothing nothing too crazy so if there was any little glitches they kind of clean that up a little bit and i'm going to show the beautiful the beautiful iphone colors which i guess we should go on over to the iphone then the iPhone. i guess that you know what that might be a good gift for me to get for my wife the iphone a, uh, no an apple watch I, you know what? I, I like my Apple Watch a lot. I really do. It's beautiful. It's Where's my Apple Watch? There it is. It's just beautiful. Look how sexy yeah. it is. It's pure sex, Bobby. I, I honestly, I love my Apple Watch, too. My mom has an Apple Watch. She's not a, a nerd at all, and she absolutely loves it. If that's any kind of review, um, I don't know what it is. All right, Bobby. Up next, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Um, I guess really I could, all I could say is if you're thinking about getting the plus, just don't, um, a friend of mine, Joanna Stern, she said, uh, on a podcast I was listening to today, uh, she said it very well on, on paper. The plus looks, it seems, it seems like the perfect phone, but in day-to-day -day use, I really do enjoy using the, uh, just the normal sex. Uh, the iPhone success starts off at 649 off contract. I'm going to pull up my notes. Uh, you can get it. They have a lot of like different uh, plans now. You can use to uh, get it. You know, a month to month basis. What has been keeping you on the uh, keeping you away from? Because Bobby has an old iPhone, crazy old iPhone. Makes you want to throw up. Well, I love my iPhone. I mean, I do. I watch TV on it and everything. All right, here's a note. So it starts off at sixty four dollars. Uh, sixty. Uh, sorry, six forty nine. Uh, all I can recommend is. If you're thinking about getting the plus, don't and just put that money towards a 64 gig model, which is 749. Um, now, honestly, I I always get 16 de uh, gig devices, and uh, with the iCloud photo sharing, it's actually been pretty easy for me to uh, live with it. Um, available in 4.7 uh, for the 6s or the 5.5 for the 6 plus. Uh, all I can say is go for the 6s. Uh, it's it just just makes me happy. Makes me happy to say that. It's available in both uh, silver, space gray, gold, or rose gold. Rose gold is absolutely beautiful. That's all I have to I, say. I got my wife the uh, six. What is it? S plus. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. But, what color did you get her? Uh, she just got the like. I think it's like a gray color because they didn't they didn't have the um, gold or you know the color that she wanted. I think she wanted the rose, but they didn't have it. Yeah. I uh, they're 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 very beautiful phones, but it looks like that that phone's gonna be mine when she's done with it because she likes she ended up once she had it and using it she likes her um, Samsung Galaxy better. Oh, you should murder her. Well, there's nothing I can do. I mean, hopefully she'll. It's divorce. It, well, it takes a while for people to get used to Apple after coming from Android or Samsung. You know, they everyone wants you, you know. Speaking of Android, uh, you know what? Some people don't want to spend that much money on an iPhone, and they want something that's just as good. Uh, how about how about the Nexus X? What is that called? The Nexus 5X. Uh, this is the one of the. Uh, it's not the high end flagship, but this is one of the one of my favorite phones. That's coming out. Came out for Android. It's a Nexus 5P. It starts off at 379, I believe. Let me pull up my notes. I don't want to wow. lie to you guys. It has a uh, 5.2 inch display, 12.3 uh, um, megapixel uh, rear facing camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera, uh, hexacore, 1.8 gigahertz, 64 gig, giga, giga, I don't even know what that means. Don't worry about it. It's a nice phone. Uh, and right now you can get uh, fifty dollars off your Nexus 5X, and it goes down to this three twenty nine, if I'm not mistaken. This is a pretty good deal for a really nice high end uh, Android phone. Really enjoy it. The Nexus 5P. Bobby. Yeah, I like that one. It sounds good. Um, how about is there a Windows phone that you've been looking at, or Bobby? There absolutely is a Windows phone. Yeah. What do you like about Windows phones, Bobby? Well, I like Windows, so um, I still I always talk about that I want one, but I mean I should drop in, but you know, 
just procrastinating, I guess. Do you know what I love about Windows phones, Bobby? Uh, the programming? What? Absolutely the not. The fact that you can get them incredibly cheap. Yeah. Uh, They're under 100, aren't they? Bobby? Even less. You can get a... Uh, this, this, is, this is down to my awesome stocking stuffer. And also, this is a great phone for uh, you know first-time smartphone users. This is the Windows Lumia 635. Uh, it starts off from about $39 on a, uh, as an AT&T Go phone. It goes all, all the way up to about $100 completely unlocked. Uh, but a little pro tip is go on Amazon. If you have AT&T, get the Go phone. They have Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, um, uh, all different versions of it. Uh, this is a great phone. I absolutely love my Lumia 635. It's a 4-inch display. No, what? what is it, Bobby? 4.5-inch display. Yeah. Um, it's got a, a rear-facing camera. No front camera. But this is an, I really do enjoy this phone. It's just 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 pretty. It's it's a it's the uh what I would equivalent as the Windows iPod Touch. So if you really just want like an MP3 player, like you don't want like a full fledged iPod, this is great. So you can get this for about forty bucks. It has uh, uh you can rip off the back and get all these different little colors. They have blue, uh, uh like a green, orange, yellow, white, and black. Uh, but then you can rip off the back. It only comes with 8 gigs of, of storage, but you can rip off the back and put a little SD card in there or a micro SD, and I think you can put either 64 or 128 gigabytes into that, and you can get those cards really cheap. And this is essentially a MP3 player. You can throw it in your trunk, or not your trunk, your your glove box. Um, it's just kind of nice to have as like an extra little device. You can watch Netflix on it, Hulu. Uh, the only problem with Windows is the apps is a little bit crappy, but it's got you know, it's got Instagram, it's got uh, Twitter, um, I, I you know it's just it's just a nice phone. It's you know why spend a lot of money if you don't have to, especially if you don't really use that. You know you could be you spending your money on other stuff. You know, Bobby. Yeah, I should probably get my wife one of those. All right, but say hey, your kid really wants an iPod Touch. Just get him a get him an iPod Touch. Uh, the iPod Touches start off. What did the iPod Touches start off, Bobby? I don't I didn't do any any research. Uh, let's I've, see. They start I've off touched. at. Can zoom in real quick. Uh, let's see. So the iPod Touch sixth generation. All right, let's see. Thank God for notes. Thank God I did some prep today. Uh, starts off at one ninety nine for a sixteen gigabyte, gigabyte version, uh, all the way up to one hundred twenty eight gigs. If you want to get a big freaking iPod, uh, available in red, pink, uh, space gray, gold, blue, and silver. It's got like a lot of cool weird colors. Those are weird. I like those. I like the blue. And it's more yellow than gold too. But these are really nice. It's got the four point inch display. I just found a uh, fourth generation thirty two gig for one fifty five. But the Bobby, this is the sixth generation. Oh, it's six. Mm hmm. Wow. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good price. These ones just were updated this year. They're very nice. Got the brand new nice colors. I really enjoy the iPod Touch. Starting off at just one ninety nine. Not a bad deal, Bobby. Not a bad deal. Where do you see for one ninety nine? Uh, on Apple. dot com. Right here, Bobby. Oh, here it is. One ninety nine ninety five on Amazon. Yep, and look around for those two. You can get those pretty cheap. Uh, you know. I always recommend looking around. A lot of times you'll be only for Apple products, you'll only be able to get gift cards, but you know, places like Walmart, Target, stuff like that will offer it uh, to you. Usually for sometimes they'll give you a gift card or whatever if you watch out for sales. It's very close. Again, this is the last minute gift guide. Uh, all and of course all of this stuff will can get to you by Christmas. All right, Bobby. Uh, we did we did the iPods. We did the Apple Watch. Let's do real quick. So we already have. Hey, sometimes you might already help people. Some. Hey, you may think, uh, you know, that Apple person in your life has everything, but uh, thank thankfully for me, I'm gonna tell you what they don't have. Uh, you got an Apple Watch fanatic in your in your life? Get them the seventy nine dollar uh, magnetic charging dock. It takes your uh your beautiful little. Apple Watch and lays on a little pillow. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's seventy nine dollars. It's available in white, and it's a perfect companion to your beautiful Apple Watch. 
Do you sleep with your Apple Watch? I do not. I charge my Apple Watch on the nightstand. Okay. You know, I'm not crazy. So that's like one of the last things you take off, or do you take that off right away? Um, it's kind of, it varies. I'm very weird with my Apple Watch. Yeah. But hey, what if a person just got an iPhone, just has an iPhone, and they're like, oh, they're already, you know, they're sitting on the table, they don't have a nice place to put their iPhone, get them. The, some of the beautiful, and it's available in white as well, starting off at just thirty nine ninety nine. 39 bucks. The Apple Lightning Docks. Uh, I'm a huge fan of these things. They're basically essentially little pieces of plastic that let you dock your, your phone into them. And they have a little uh, headphone port. So they're kind of neat. You can uh, basically make a little dock for your iPhone, but then, you know, just plug it in. It's very, very pretty. They're available to match your iPhone as well in gold, uh, rose gold, silver, or space gray. It's really hard to remember all those colors. Like, especially going back from Windows to Android, like everyone calls their shit differently. Well, when, when you're all into it and a fanatic, you love that shit, though. I do. Oh, you know, too. I love yeah. that shit, Bobby. Yeah. Do I also love, Bobby? Uh, I like to be able to control my light bulbs. So if you got a really huge nerd, this is, this is getting into the level of, hey, all right, this guy has absolutely everything. Get him. It's going to seem crazy. Get him a light bulb. You may say, hey, why am I going to buy someone a light bulb? Bobby, why would you buy a light bulb for someone? Uh, I mean, to lighten them up, you know, light them up. Absolutely not, Bobby. It's a hundred percent wrong. Do you know why you would do that? Why? So then you can you could you can have an app to control your light bulb, your lights. Oh, this, there you go. Yeah, I've been hearing about that. So this is the Philips Hue. It starts off at uh, uh, actually it's pretty you can get pretty cheap. It starts off at the Lux kits start off at just what is it? It's ninety nine bucks. The Hues start off at uh. Two ninety nine or one ninety nine, to come with anywhere from two to three bulbs. Uh, the Luxes, th- these are incredible. I I have been living with these things for about three years now, and they're essentially ingrained into my my this my everyday life. And I often forget how much these do for me because all the lights in my house are all on timers that I've made. So and they they do all these weird little fades, and it's these are the. Again, again, they you don't have to be a nerd to use these, but if you are a nerd, they have like these incredible little timers, and they are the uh, the Wi-Fi light bulb of choice, in my opinion. So it comes with these nice little faders; you can fade them all out, and if you have the hues, you can also uh, change the colors with a nice little color picker. It's of course, oh, there it is. I love the Philips Hues, and you can get additional bulbs for uh, uh, starting off at thirty bucks. They have strips. They have floodlights, so I have strips above the mantle, which are really nice to accent things. Uh, they look great underneath cabinets. They got the whole line, and that's the Philips Hue Wi-Fi light bulb. I'm a huge fan of these. I have about ten of these bulbs around the house. I love these. I really do. But you say, "Hey, Bobby, that's a lot of money. I don't want to spend, but I want—I don't want to spend that much money. But I want someone to." essentially just love me forever. And here's where I get into the category of things uh, a lot of people don't know even exist. And you might, it doesn't, even, you know, once I, once I reveal them, Bobby, you might not be too surprised. But there's some things out there that are quite surprising that you might not know about. Things like, what, Bobby? You know, I can, I can barely reach my charger. I I'm just making these scenarios like a jackass. I should work on QVC. All right, Bobby. Six-foot lightning cables. No more of that three-foot bullshit. Get the long fucking lightning cables. Everyone will love you. You can actually use your phone while it's charging. They start off at just uh, about 10 bucks from Amazon. Amazon Basics are the ones I recommend. Amazon Basics, just go on Amazon. Use my affiliate code. And get a long, long fucking, just a long mess of cable. It's a huge cable. It's beautiful. Love that shit. Not only do they have long cables, they have little baby cables too. Look at the little baby cable. It's just a little baby. They have four-inch cables, everything you could want. But why would you want a four-inch cable, Bobby? Well, those are more for convenience with a laptop. Laptop, very good. Yeah. What, what else, Bobby? Uh, I don't know. You would use it with one of these. What is this, what is this right here, Bobby? Hold on, let me switch the camera. Uh battery uh iphones don't last that long we all we're just used to it by now but you shouldn't have to be 
Dutch Wife for uh, starting off at just ten dollars, Bobby. Ten dollars, you can get a uh, a beautiful little battery charger. Let me put it on the screen. So here are the power cores, the newest ones that are twelve dollars from Amazon. And the the other ones are you can get them anywhere from about ten to twelve bucks. Uh, we'll fill your phone about a, a full time. 3,000 milliamps. So the technical term for batteries are milliamp hours, which people are just, it's just very confusing. But MAHs, this says 3,000 MAHs. An iPhone has, let me get this right. A 6 Plus has 3,500 milliamp hours, I believe. And a 6 has 2,900, something like that. So we'll charge a 6 Plus almost all the way up and a 6, uh, 6 up to the top too. So if it's just 10 bucks. Uh, these are great too because you can get them anywhere in any kind of increment inc- increments. Uh, the small ones have just about one one port on them, just about. They, they do have one port on them, uh, and will charge your phone about one time. Then you can get anywhere from these smaller puppies that have two ports on them, and they'll charge. You know, they'll last you about a weekend, all the way up to huge backpack sized ones that will last you you and your group and you know, you could go on a. Boy Scout camp. I don't know why I'm saying that. Probably because you're creepy and weird and do that stuff. Do you know, do you have Boy Scouts? Do that? Do you do Boy Scouts, Bobby? Not yet, but I should probably. I like look you, into but you that go camping. Time. That's why, bro. I don't know. I was thinking yeah. Boy Scouts. But Bobby, go, Bobby and his thing. son go camping for the weekend. So you can go camping for the entire weekend and watch Netflix the entire time with one of these little puppies. And they start off the bigger ones start off about twenty three bucks, uh, all the way up to about a hundred bucks. So anywhere from a ten to a hundred bucks, you can get these batteries, uh, and they're Anchor A N K E R. Uh, batteries and they're very great. They charge a little micro USB port, and then uh, you just throw them in your bag, and then you got you got power. I love. I seriously, I'm I'm a huge fan of batteries. I really am, Bobby. So we got the charger. Buy yourself chargers. Uh, buy yourself some anchor batteries. But what if you want to? What if you really want to be fancy, Bobby? What do you do? What does one do? Do what they to do, be Bob? Fancy. Hmm? To be fancy? Yeah, what would you do to be fancy for, to charge your iPhone? What would be the most elegant way to charge your iPhone? I have like a big one that I bought. It's just a big giant thing. You know, the the battery pack. Wrong, It's Bobby. like a big square thing. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It looks like a um, like an iPhone, actually. Actually, I'll go to this real quick. Uh, also from Anchor, another one of my essentials are and again they have them anywhere from two ports to like 10 ports are the anchor uh power ports all right here's why you want this everyone has a lot of devices and if you're a kid you know you're you're hanging out with your friends you got you got your phone you got your ipod you know you got your friend's ipod and it's like, hey, I don't wanna I don't wanna have five, fifteen things plugged into my outlet. You can get these little things are about the size of a MacBook uh adapter. And you can plug uh this uh, thousands of USBs into them really. So this is the uh PowerPort four. It starts off at twenty six dollars. They have different versions, ones that plug directly into the outlet, and they have also ones that you can set on a desk. They have a little cord which are pretty cool, and they have ones that go up to ten ports. Uh, so if you have like a business to two ports to one port to, uh, you know, they have great ones if you just want to get a single to, single adapter. But these are great for travel. Uh, you buy one of these things and you put it, you know, in the kitchen and they're just great to have. You can have a crap load of USB ports. And those are really cheap too and also really great to have. How do you feel about those, Bobby? Multiple I USB like that. ports. I need one of those. I seriously, I travel with this little thing. It's ridiculous. It's like a search. It's a search protector with about six of those stupid Apple adapters in it, and that's what I travel with, because I don't have something like this. But I finally I bought something really nice from Belkin. But uh, I really do like these as well. I don't know why I didn't bring the Belkin thing in here, but I really like these things. Anchor power ports. All right, Bobby. So we're charging your phone that way. You know, that's pretty fancy. Not fancy enough, Bobby. Do what I want. I wanna. I want my phone to be pregnant. Got the pregnant iPhone right here. This is the Apple Smart Battery Case. This is essentially a case, and this, this, these have been around for a while. There's good ones from Mophie. Anchor has ones as well. Uh, but this is the Apple Battery Smart Case. It starts off as a hundred dollars, and essentially what it is 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 a giant extra battery for your phone. 
Uh, it's got awesome iOS integration. So when you charge it up, it shows you, you know, your case is at 100%. I have been using mine. Uh, so basically what this is, is, a, is an anchor strapped to the back of your phone. So I unplugged my phone uh, yesterday at 7 o'clock. My phone's at at 90% and my case is at 2%. So my phone is still at 90% from last night at 7 p.m. And I use I use my phone crazily. This is a random battery test. Let me show you. Let's see what I've been using this for. How, how does it feel? How does that case feel? All right, so the, the iPhone uses, usually lasts for me about six and a half hours. I'm at six and a half hours right now and my phone is still at 90%. It actually doesn't wow. feel that bad. It's a, it's people are complaining about it, but this isn't one of the nicest feeling cases I've had in a long time. Uh, battery cases, that is. Battery cases are inherently really bulky. They have these big lips underneath them, and uh, you know the protruding back. But this is one of the nicest I've found. Uh, you know, it's a little bit pricey. It's a hundred bucks. Uh, only available for the iPhone uh, 6s. 6s Plus, you really don't need it. It's got this nice little uh, indicator that goes in your your menu bar. It shows you how much power your phone has, the case has, you know, anything else. You have Bluetooth speakers uh, available in both white and uh, charcoal. I recommend getting the charcoal one because the white one gets extremely dirty very fast. Uh, and it starts up ninety nine bucks. I like this line. Of course, it charges unlike the other ones. Here's the thing. You might not buy this for your kid. Your kid just wants a battery case. Maybe go buy him the $40 Anchor one. But for you, you know, mom and dad, buy this one. It charges with the lightning cable. You don't have to worry about all the different ports. It's just, you know, any little lightning cable it charges with. Uh, I like this a lot. And uh, so, I, like I said, I unplugged it on Thursday at 7.30. Uh, it's noon o'clock. It's noon right now on Friday. My phone is at, still at 90%. So... Uh, the battery case completely de- depleted. I didn't, I didn't plug it at all last night either, so that should be pointed out as well. Uh, they're just nice to have. It's a giant, you know. It's, it's not maybe it's not for everyone. Not everyone really needs that much power, but if you're tra- do a lot of traveling or go to conferences or have a lot of meetings or you have a life, um, you know, my phone can't last past dinner. So if you have a life and you want to, you know, be out to the wee hours of the morning or not, maybe not have to worry about charging your phone for a few days. Uh, I really do enjoy this a lot. I love to drink, but I'm not gonna go outside if I have to drive. Uber promo code. Uber beer radio for $20 off your first ride. I love to get drunk and go home in an uber ride uber code uber Burr radio twenty dollars off your first ride all right bobby so we did the iphone case i'm a huge fan how's the chat room doing is the chat room excited yeah we're good oh very cool so we've got the smart battery case ipod touch the chromecast lumia 635 uh we did anchors the iPhone dock. Uh, all right. Plano iPhone case. You got a new iPhone, you got to protect it. Uh, I recommend the NCPO. Let me find, pull this up. Uh, the NPG case. It's a beautiful little black case. You know, I mean, you can get them in any color, but uh, mine I've been using for about a year now. Let me see how much it is. I think I have notes, possibly. This is about ten bucks. You can get it from Amazon. Let me find the exact name of this. All right, I don't have the exact case. It's the NCPO N N G P. Look it up for me real quick, Bobby. I want to make sure I get it right. What is it? N I think N G P. I N C I P O. N I think it's N P G. Uh, what color? Uh, any color. What colors do they have? They have like a clear. I think they have like they have ones are like fun colors. Black, white. They're uh, ten ninety nine, ten dollars. Yep, very cheap. Great little cases. It's the uh, wire cutter, which I like to use. Wiredcutter dot com. Uh, case of choice. I'm a huge fan of it, Bobby. Huge fan. All right, got the case. 
Uh, what else? How about this, Bobby? The kid really wants a Mac. He's not going to get the MacBook Air. He's not getting an iPod. An iPad, I should say. But he really wants a Mac. All right. How about, Bobby, how about this? How about a, for, a Mac for just four ninety nine? You know, you might have a uh, an old an old PC laying around. And it's like, hey, let's 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 upgrade it. So for four ninety nine, you can get this. It's a Mac Mini, uh, five hundred gig hard drive, four gigs of RAM, one point six uh, one point four gigahertz, or I think it's actually one point six now. I think they upgraded it, or maybe one point four, something like that. Uh, a Mac Mini, they're great to have. You can put them anywhere. They're great home theater PCs. They're great just computers. Uh, it's a full-fledged Mac for just 500 bucks. Go on to Apple.com to get that. Very exciting, Bobby. That's what Bobby I, needs. I like that one. I do, too. All right. We did that. Uh, another i or a tablet I should, I should recommend is uh, it's only $50. And you know what? You know, not every kid needs the, the, you know, the most fanciest thing. But this is actually a pretty nice tablet for the price. It is the Amazon uh, Fire seven-inch tablet, uh, just fifty bucks. You can get it from uh, Best Buy, uh, of course, Amazon. That's where I would buy it. You know, it's not a, uh, it's not going to have everything. It's not even really Android. But for fifty bucks, you could buy that. Like you buy everyone that. Like some people have fifty-dollar limits. Like for like nephews, you can buy everyone a freaking tablet for fifty bucks. But hey, you know your kid doesn't want that. You know your kid wants a, something a little bit better. Get them the iPad Mini 4. All right, so the iPad Mini 4 starts off at this $399. It is the smallest of the iPad lines. Uh, it's my iPad of choice. I highly recommend my the iPad. 7.8-inch uh, display. Uh, Retina. Beautiful. Nice cameras. And... uh. It's got all the got all the fancy features. Got all the slide overs. Just came out this year. Uh, available in gold, silver, or space gray. Three ninety nine. The iPad Mini Pro. iPad Mini. iPad Mini Four. Not the iPad Mini Pro. iPad Mini Four. Very excited. Oh, Amazon has that for three seventy right now. Do they? Yeah. Do A they? White one. Yep. Sixteen gig. I should also point out uh, a lot of these things from Apple have uh, if you're if a student in your family or you are a student, you can get uh, discounts, very good discounts, fifty bucks or more from uh, from Apple. So do you have this? Do you have iPads at all, Bobby? We have one. Do you? What do you like about your iPad? iPad. Uh, Shane loves it. I mean, it. You know, it's it's a great babysitter. You know. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I can't even pry it out of his hands. What iPad does he have? Uh, what does he have? I think it's third generation. Very cool. Or fourth. Something like that. Very cool, Bobby. Yeah. I think that's it. I mean, look around the table. Did I forget anything? I don't think I did. There's our uh, holiday gift guide, Bobby. You excited? Was that was that? Yeah, I'm real excited. Anything, uh, anything coming up that's going to be coming out that you've been uh, checking out, or I, you know, I'm not sure. I, uh, you know, we got CES coming up. I'm about to see what comes out of there, but uh, uh, some some uh, notable things I left out: hoverboards. Are you um, Bluetooth flying speakers. into that? What? Are you going to that show or CES? No, oh, God. Oh, okay. I would die. Oh, it's pretty crowded. Well, you know how I do with crowds. Yeah. And other humans. Not good at all. Bobby, uh this was uh this was that was a good gift guide. Yeah. Very exciting. Um I'm I'm uh very ignited to uh, get my wife a present out of that gift guide. 